Yo, what's up guys, my name's the number one pred, and today what I'm bringing you guys is a double chem strike with the Ripper on the map of Whiteout. Um, how many chem double chems? I've had like, I think I've had two double chems on Whiteout, and this is my second one. I think I uploaded like an AK-12 one a while ago, where I got that Dench feed um, halfway between uh, the streak, which was kind of cool, but other than that, and this is my second gameplay on Whiteout. This time using the Ripper. From what I do remember about this gameplay, because I did get this about two or three months ago, or was it a while ago. Um, I have loads and loads of double chem strikes from like months ago that I haven't even thought of uploading. Just because I wanted to conserve and thinking that I'm not going to get double chem strikes at one point, but I'm starting to get them a lot uh, throughout this summer, so it's kind of you know pointless. So I might as well just start uploading them a lot more frequently because I'm going to get loads more to come. So the first streak was actually quite intense. You can see our grenades and everything being thrown at me. Everyone's coming into this building, which is probably the best uh, spot in this map to get faster chem strikes. Um, but unfortunately, the second streak did in fact slow down, and that was just mainly because the enemies all rage quit. They all end up leaving um, just because they couldn't handle the beating and the spawns flip and everything, which makes the second chem strike like six, not six minutes, about four, four and a half. No, about five minutes long, which is kind of annoying. So I did have to cut that down just to fit the commentary topic and just no, not bore you guys out, uh, bore you guys out of your heads. So I do think you guys were nothing of these gameplays because I watch my gameplays back just to, you know, from a diff from like a subscriber's perspective and see what you would like about it and what I w you wouldn't like. So I'd cut it out and stuff like that, make it better for you guys to watch. So hopefully you guys understand that. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about today is frustration. This is a commentary topic. I'm trying to find, think of more commentary topics um, that don't always relate to Call of Duty. And I've got a kind of, you know, anecdote, like a little story behind this. It's kind of a recent story as well. It's not really a story, I guess. It's just a past event, really. And um, that actually happened the day I'm doing this commentary. And it's probably gonna, I'm probably uploading this video tomorrow, as in Friday the, the 20th of June so that be today when you're watching it that guy just stood there and watched me kill him what the hell um, but uh, yes I'm going to talk about frustration and on the first day the 19th which is the day I'm actually doing the commentary over so I have the perfect time because I'm sort of frustrated right now at the time I'm doing this commentary so I have like, a lot to talk about and my memory is fresh so I don't have to you know forget about it by doing the commentary the same day as the upload but um, for those who were watching the World Cup on the 6th, uh, on the 19th of June, and um, they would, and especially those who live around me, and especially in my country, obviously, um, England played Uruguay, and it wasn't, a, it wasn't a fun time for me, especially when I was watching the game, I was going pretty mental, I was on Twitter a lot, and uh, I was putting continuous tweets out of me getting angry with, you know, either the ref, um, Gerard. Um, although he's not, I know Gerard hasn't been playing well recently, but I know he's a good. I know he's a legend, but still, I was getting pissed off at him because he made a critical mistake that cost us the game, and uh, I was just getting angry, finding any excuse to get angry at the game. Um, for those who don't know, England are probably on the verge of going out of the World Cup within the group stages. For, uh, funny enough, Spain have actually gone out already, which is kind of funny. Um, just because, you know, they won the World Cup last time and they're already out, which is kind of funny. But um, England are also going to join them if they do not uh, beat Costa Rica and results don't go their way. Which is really annoying because four years um, of practice and training all leads up to this, which is, you know, a bit stupid. But anyways, when I was watching Uruguay and England... The ref, let's be honest, wasn't the best. He he, he he was pretty biased. I mean, he's probably I think he was a South American ref, which doesn't help matters, I guess. I mean, a lot of decisions went Uruguay's way, and little things like that start to start getting me frustrated, and it doesn't make me a happy person. I don't exactly experience frustration that much, but when I do experience it, it's mainly in competitive games, and it's most likely you're going to experience frustration in competitive, you know, events such as you know playing COD. Because obviously, if you're good at COD, um, and things don't go your way, you're not going to be exactly happy about it. And also, when you watch football, when you're a really strong football fan like I am, um, and things don't go your way, 
it's not a good time and frustration is one of those things that is really really bugging because I can't stand being frustrated it makes me want to you know fidget and stuff like that um, stand up on my feet you know it just makes me uncomfortable frustration is probably the worst thing that I can have I mean it just grinds my gears should you say should I say but um yeah so let me know what you guys think about frustration was you guys frustrated with the England match if you do support England and come from England so if you guys don't you know who watch my videos like American or from another country I do apologize hopefully maybe you guys watch football or soccer as you guys call it out there but um, let me know what you guys think of the match and frustration in general I will see you in the next video be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon peace